if I were to put myself in my students' shoes watching me teach, yikes. <laughs> That's really hard. Um, if I was to put myself in my students' shoes, um, I think what I hope they would see, I'm not exactly sure what they do see, but I think what I hope they would see is someone who's passionate about the material, someone who really cares about the ideas, who cares about their implications, the implications of the ideas, and who really cares about the students themselves. It's always hard to judge yourself, but I would imagine they would see someone who is, frankly, totally insane. Um, because I, I talk a lot with my hands and there's a lot of gesticulating, but at the same time, totally in love with what I'm doing. And I hope that's what comes across. I would see that 1% of the 1% who really genuinely likes to do math on a Friday night. I think I would see somebody who uh, is, it's like a child when they find a really pretty rock and they just want to show everybody that thing and they're, you know, to them it's the most exciting thing in the world and uh, everyone else is almost blind to it because they've seen it so much. If I were to put myself in my student's sh shoes, I would see somebody who is still having fun reading and writing and thinking about books and literature and articles and ideas that the spirit of getting engaged with the material, of becoming part of a discussion, of a larger discourse, was the excitement of it all. I would see someone who is, yes, loud, um, but passionate, who cares about the materials, who cares what my students think and have to say, um, and who is really interested in the larger big picture, which is what are you getting out of this? What skills are you learning that are transferable and translatable to your careers or classes or worlds hereafter? I would probably see a woman up there who I thought had a lot of energy and was kind of crazy, but at least the class was fun. And because she knew my name and she talked to me, I might feel comfortable to talk to her. Um, I would also feel like she actually cares about me and I'm not just another number going through the classroom. So I would like to think that what my students think of me is that I care about their learning and I care about their careers, their future, and that I'm open to discussing that with them. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that they identify with me. If they can identify with me, that's what I'm hoping they, they will do. And so as someone who's sitting there, um, if I were in a classroom with a professor, that's what I would hope, that there's somehow we can make a connection because I still think education is, it's, it's personal. If I was to put myself in my students' shoes, I hopefully would see someone who is passionate about what they're doing. And I would really hope that they realize there is a, a method behind <laughs> what I'm doing that they see that I am trying to tell trying to tell a story and trying to weave a narrative around what can be disjoint facts. And I would see a faculty member who was determined, incredibly determined, to have students be engaged and really wrestle with these things that I was being asked to wrestle with. I think if I was a teacher, I would think the students look like they aren't necessarily engaged in the material because they're on their laptops a lot and um, that I want them to be passionate about what I'm teaching. I think that's something that keeps professors going is seeing the people that really get it and seeing the students that really are connected. And as a professor I think you know the amount of material that you're giving requires at least um, some level of work every week like I, I know it's measured in like units and everything per like hour of studying um, and so it's definitely not an easy job to be a student here so I think I would respect anyone who's at least passing their classes here. I think I would have seen just a lot of different students that have not spent too many too much time together really um, 
connecting in a very different way um, within that very short amount of time. The students, I think, I think they're open-minded. They're young and fresh. I think that I would actually think about which one of those students would go on and eventually know so much more than I would know. If I were to put myself in my professor's shoes, I think what I would see is a lot of scared faces because it, that's how I felt last year. Um, but along with fear comes great promise. I would feel ready for the challenge because I know that fear can easily be turned into passion or drive or just this want to be better and understand things. If I put myself in my teacher's shoes, I honestly don't know what I would see, but I would probably feel proud in a sense to be able to teach so many kids and students, young adults who are here for a reason to learn. Proud is a feeling I would definitely get.